In this video, we're going to address the question of what management actually does. We know that managerial accounting provides information to managers that will help them make both strategic decisions focused on the long term and operational decisions focused on the day to day operations of a business. But what exactly do managers do for an organization? We can divide what management does into three broad functions, planning, directing, and controlling. Although they seem self-explanatory, let's explore each one individually. What exactly is planning? Planning is when management sets future goals for an organization and then figures out how to achieve those goals. For example, when General Motors announced in November 2016 that they planned to close their Oshawa, Ontario production plant as well as four production facilities in the United States, they did it because they wanted to meet changing demand patterns by their customers and to save an estimated $6 billion US by the year 2020. The closures were a way of achieving their plan and their plans were made in order to meet the company's overall goals. That's planning not only setting the future goals, but also determining how those goals will be met. What is directing? Once an organization has a plan, the plan has to be implemented and the company has to convince all the employees to follow the plan. So directing is moving plans into action. For example, if an organization's plan is to increase sales revenue by building customer loyalty, then directing is moving that plan into action focusing on how to build customer loyalty. Molson Coors Canada in 2013 started leaving beer fridges in random places across Europe, including London and France. The fridge would only open and dispense free beer if someone from Canada scanned their Canadian passport. The campaign really focused on Canadians understated national pride and their tagline on the commercials, here's to being proud of where you come from. The company built customer loyalty by recognizing that we are proud of being Canadian. Directing is all about making things happen, putting a plan into action. But directing also recognizes that putting a plan into action is only successful if you can convince your employees that what the company is doing is not only in the best interest of the organization, but also in the employee's best interest. That's called motivating the act of making employees want to do their best for the organization. A good example of this is Google. They encourage their employees to spend 20% of their time developing their own innovative ideas. Google is considered one of the most innovative organizations in the world, and the company credits that to their employees developing what they call side projects. Gmail is just one of the many examples of innovative products that were produced at Google as a side project. So directing is the act of making things happen in a way that is best for the company and the employees. What is controlling? How do we know if an organization's plan were properly implemented? How do we know if the organization's goals were actually attained? We can only determine that if we measure our performance against the original plan and monitor the outcomes. Once we have the results of that comparison called feedback, we can make adjustments by changing the plan or changing the directing slash motivating. For instance, Molson Coors beer fridges were successful in building customer loyalty. We know this because the results were monitored. The campaign, which began on Canada Day in 2013, received millions of views on social media and generated an estimated $50 million in free media. Their market share grew by the equivalent of 7.6 million bottles of beer, worth about $6 million. This feedback was important to Molson's decision to expand the campaign on Canada Day 2014, when the fridge only opened to dispense free beer when people sang the Canadian National Anthem. What was truly funny is how few Canadians could actually do it. The campaign continued into 2015 with their I Am Canadian beer fridges. Located in Canada, these fridges would only open to dispense free beer if six Canadians said I Am Canadian, but in six totally different languages. It recognized and celebrated the fact that Canadians come from many different ethnic origins. 
unless organizations monitor the outcome of their directing and motivating to meet the company's planned goals, well, organizations would never know if what they did was successful. They need the feedback so they can make decisions on how to move forward, either by making adjustments to what went wrong or expanding what went right. So management's responsibilities include planning, directing, which includes motivating, and controlling. This is a continuous process which organizations will use in order to be successful. Let's test your understanding of management's responsibilities by completing a solve it question. Remember to pause the video and answer the questions yourself before I answer them. Consider each of the following independent scenarios and determine which management responsibility applies, planning, directing, or controlling. Choose the one that you consider most appropriate. One, managers at a convenience store compare the current month's sales to the same period last year. Comparing this year to last year is a performance measurement which provides feedback. This allows management to make adjustments moving forward. This is therefore controlling. Number two, managers at a retail store have set a target for the store to increase customer satisfaction over the next two years. Here is a goal with regards to the future, which will be used as a target to develop a game plan. Here is a goal with regards to the future, which will be used as a target to develop a game plan. This is planning. Three, for the month of December, management has decided to increase employee bonuses by 5%. This action will encourage employees to sell more products so they can maximize their bonuses, something that will benefit both the employees and the organization. This is motivating, which is part of directing. Four, in order to increase sales, management has rolled out a new marketing campaign in Ontario. Here, they have turned a goal, increasing sales in Ontario, into action by rolling out a new marketing campaign. This is directing. That's it for the solve it question of applying your understanding of management's responsibility to different scenarios. Stop for a moment and consider your workplace. See if you can recognize these three activities in your place of business. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.